Weather First with meteorologist Joshua Rivas. Alrighty, and good Saturday morning, everybody. Hope you're ready for your Saturday and uh, your weekend as well. This weekend is going to be different than last weekend in terms of the showers and storms being around the area. Mostly cloudy. We were used to that last weekend, but we didn't have the showers. A little bit more comfortable as well. The humidity is up. Not like summertime humidity, but the humidity is in place to get these showers and storms rolling. And the first chill of the season, we're watching that as we begin the work week. Speaking of chill, Really what I refer to that is temperatures in the 50s. Now last week we got to the low 60s, around 60 degrees. Some of us might consider that pretty chilly, but this work week is going to be much chillier. Now let's talk about 55 degrees. That's what I consider about the chill starting. And uh, we look at our, one of our cities here. Average date, we reach 55 or below, is late October. And we're now reaching the late part of November. So we're well past the average mark. So we go to the latest dates here. We're looking at early December to late November. So Wachula is November 22nd, which is tomorrow. So we could be tying that or breaking that record for the latest date, reaching 55 degrees. Uh, but overall, it looks like for Sarasota, Venice, Punta Gorda, and Arcadia, we could be just before that. So it we'll doesn't look like we'll break the record for the latest date on 55, thanks to a very strong cold front. Now for today, we'll end up with the moisture gradually increasing throughout the day. Highest chance of rain will definitely be this afternoon and evening as the moisture increases. We'll see more clouds and a disorganized area of low pressure begin to move into the eastern gulf this evening and so the, all that will be able to increase the rain chance but overall this goes through about the evening hours so that will uh, really increase through the overnight hours i think that's the best chance you can see the blue show up uh, overnight tonight into tomorrow morning so that's really going to be the best chance of rain overnight tonight into tomorrow morning so be careful you're going to church tomorrow watch out for that have the umbrellas handy because it looks to be pretty wet now monday and tuesday very dry air across the entire southeast very strong cold front pushing through so low dew points Breezy conditions, very chilly air. Also, thanks to the upper levels, you can see a nice dip in the trough here. It lifts out pretty quick, but it doesn't moderate all that bad or really quickly either. So the rain chance is not going to increase. It's going to be a nice gradual warm-up, but still feeling pretty nice throughout the forecast era. But Monday and Tuesday, chilly and beautiful. Temperatures for today will top out. Low to mid-80s, about a 50% chance of rain this afternoon and evening, increasing throughout the overnight hours. The way I see it for the 70 forecast, 50 to 60 percent chance of rain increasing through Sunday morning. Again, watch out for those showers and storms off and on throughout the day on Sunday. Breezy conditions picking up mainly Sunday night as the front begins to move through our northern counties, southern counties overnight Sunday into Monday. Either way you put it, the breezy conditions last throughout the seven day. Monday and Tuesday, chilly. Temperatures barely reaching the 70 degree mark. Uh, low temperatures, I might drop those about a degree or two as we continue on this weekend. But right now I'm going 58, 55. Wind chills, I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe some 40s across the area feels like on Monday and Tuesday. And then a gradual warm up Thanksgiving Day, 78 degrees, temperatures to start out in the 60s and the upper 70s to end. That's it for now. Another web weather updates coming up later on today.